So a calming day today for us. Let's just come into our seated position, starting in a cross-legged place. Remember that you're creatures of habit, as we all are. So switch your legs around as we start with the sitting bones behind you, core supporting your spine, shoulders right above your hips, crown reaching to the ceiling. And just take a few moments to focus on that breathing internally. Drawing in energy, exhaling any stress, and allowing your focus just to keep moving inward, finding that peace within as your focal point today. And then keeping that inner focus, let's start by, let's do a breathing exercise called bowing breath. So just comfortably situate your legs so that you can pivot forward from your hips. <coughs> Excuse me. And then starting with your chin, bring it into the throat center and just roll your spine one bone at a time down. And just as you do, just come forward with your forehead down toward the mat as you complete an exhalation all the way down. And then when you get as far down as you want, just take a moment pausing. And then when you're ready to begin breathing, begin at the bottom of your spine and just stack the bones coming back up. And then at the end, lifting your chin just up to neutral, not any higher, so that that back of the neck stretches. And take a breath or two as you get to the top. And then as you exhale, again, checking, put, putting the chin into that throat center and rounding slowly forward through each bone on the way down, just bowing toward the floor, letting everything release on the exhalation, pausing at the bottom. And then again, beginning at the bottom, slowly working your way back up. Inhaling till your breath is full as you reach the top. Keep those shoulders relaxing down, away from your ears throughout. Let's do that one more time, exhaling, chin toward your chest, rounding one spine bone at a time. Just letting those vertebrae stretch apart as you slowly bend forward, bowing down on the exhalation all the way to the floor. Pause there one more time. And then again, starting at the bottom of your spine, wind your way slowly back up. And as you get all the way to the top, with that inhalation, filling your breath, just take a moment to pause the breathing. Noticing that awareness in the middle of your skull as that meditative center reconnects even deeper. And whenever you're ready to resume your normal breathing, just take a moment and breathe. Letting any stress or tension exhale. And then bring your hands one at a time right behind you, fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. As you inhale, lift your heart. Tip your head slightly up, but don't lift your chin too high. Keep stretching out through your neck and just opening through the chest, through the heart, feeling everything just opening, expanding, lengthening through the spine. And then inhaling, come back upright, releasing your arms, coming back to the center. Take a moment feeling your spine a little more activated. And then bring one hand to the floor, the other arm out to the side. Turn the palm up, bring the arm near your head and slide over to the side for that rib opening stretch. Look up toward your hands slightly and stretch through the whole side of your body. Feel that hip that you're leaning away from, push it back down. Get that stretch through the ribs even more. And then inhale back upright and release that arm. 
Take a moment feeling what's going on, how imbalanced you are. So let's stretch and release the legs to the opposite cross and get ready to slide to the opposite side. So once more, the arm comes out, the other arm on the floor, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Slide over the opposite direction. <clears throat> Keep the hip you're sliding away from down. Feeling those ribs stretch apart. Slide that hand out as far as it wants to go or bend your elbow if you need a little extra stretch through that side. And again, slightly turn your head <clears throat> to look up, letting that whole side open even more. And then again, when you're ready to inhale, come on back up and bring that arm down. Take a moment as you get back into your cross-like position. Feel those sides more open. Feel that spine lengthening. And then bring your arms to the sides, arms out, palms to the shoulders, stretch up right above your shoulders. And as you exhale, turn to one side, bring the hand to your knee and the other one behind you. Bring the hand behind you down, close to your body and stretch from your sitting bones all the way up. And then the side you're turning away from, let that lift a little bit as you turn deeper into your twist, letting your spine move as far into that rotation as it wants. Crown lifting toward the ceiling, exhaling any stress, just letting the bones release into your twist. And as you inhale, turn back to the center, raising your arms back, exhale, bringing them down. And as you get back into your cross leg position that way, switch the legs for our twist to the opposite side. Hands again at your sides. Arms out, palms up, over your shoulders. Keep the shoulder, shoulder blades down. Stretch way up through the head and fingertips. Exhale, lift that back hip slightly as you turn to the side, bringing your hands down. One to the outside of the knee, the other one right behind right behind you. Stretch up as you breathe. Keep those spines open for the twist, exhaling and deepening when you're ready. And again, just allow your breath to deepen and your body to relax into your twist. Never force it. And when you're ready to release, just inhale, bringing the arms up as you turn back to the center, palms coming out and down, back into your cross leg position. Take a moment there, and just cup your hands around your knees and stretch your spine apart. Pivot at your hip bones. Exhale, bring your forehead down toward the floor. And then rolling over to one side, turn your whole body to the front. Lift your heart toward the ceiling as you come to the center. Roll over to the other side, facing the front. And then exhaling, Turn your face toward the floor as you come back to the center. Pivot around to that circle one more time, same direction, lifting your heart and rotating over and back down to the middle. And just circle around with your breath one more time, just allowing that whole spine to open and rotate around through that base in your hips. When you get to the front, pause, inhale, and sit up. Take a moment there, feel your spine a little bit more activated even, and then once more, let's switch the legs the other way. Hands again around your knees, pivot at your hips, exhale, bring your forehead down toward the floor. And of course, we're going the other way with our rotation, so go ahead and roll to the side, looking to the front, and then lifting your heart, looking toward the ceiling, over to the other side, looking forward, and exhaling back around toward the floor. Same direction, rotating to the side, really opening your heart as you lift it toward the back, and then over to the other side and rounding forward. And our last circle on that direction, just feeling that whole spine open the whole way around as you come all the way back again toward the front. Tucking your chin, 
and roll your way back up into your seated position once more. Shoulders circling back and down, and you can bring your hands clasped into your lap with the palms up. Take a moment there, just feeling your body, spine more activated, focusing inward on that breath, drawing in, flowing out. And just take a few moments breathing normally. And then we'll do our alternate nostril breathing. So bring your hand in front of your face, right hand, bring the thumb to your nostril on the right side. Exhale out the left nostril. And then inhale and bring your finger, little finger and ring finger to the nose on the left nostril, releasing your thumb. Exhale through that right nostril and then inhale. And rotating back and forth, just bring your thumb to the right nostril, blocking it off and then exhaling and inhaling on the right as you release those fingers. And then blocking the right, releasing the left, not blocking the left, releasing the right. Exhale and inhale. And then blocking the right, releasing the left, exhaling and inhaling. And again, just follow your own breath as slow or as fast as you'd like it. Let both shoulders release down as you breathe, just alternating, closing one side off, and then exhaling and inhaling on the opposite side, and then closing that side off, and again, exhaling and inhaling as slowly as you'd like. Just feeling that relaxation, releasing any tension. Exhaling and inhaling, just alternating back and forth. And the next time you release the left nostril, just complete that exhalation and inhalation as you bring your hand back to the floor, to your lap. And just keep breathing full and deep. Allowing that sense of release to completely relax your whole body, your whole mind, your whole being. And then as you exhale again, just switch your legs once more. And we'll work across that neck and shoulder area a little bit. So bring your chin into that throat center indentation. Let the back of your head begin stretching along the neck. Keep your shoulders above your hips. Keep your shoulders relaxing down. Just let the weight of your head tip forward. And then bring your hands one at a time to the back of your head, just adding a little weight, not pressure. Just letting that neck get a little extra stretch. Exhaling and just releasing any tightness. Deepen your breath. Exhale again, just let it go. Shoulders still above your hips. Keep that core supporting your spine. And then releasing your hands, tip your chin back upright and lift it just a little bit to stretch your throat. Breathe, relax your shoulders down, shoulder blades toward your waist. And just move your jaw in a circle forward and around, back to the middle, and then to the other side. Just circling through that chin jaw area. However feels good for you. And then again, coming back to your neutral with the neck stretching up and the chin back at rest. Relax your shoulders back and down. Take a moment and breathe. And again, bringing your chin to the throat center, just rotate your chin over to the side, up toward the ceiling, looking to the top, over to the other side, coming back down into the center, circling it around, just the neck and chin lifting, 
through the base of the skull, throughout that circuit. And the next time you're forward, just pause there a moment, letting everything relax, head heavy, and then circle the other way to the side, chin up to the opposite side and down, rolling it around, just releasing any tension in the jaw, in the neck, in the throat, in the shoulders, back to the center. And just pausing in the middle, relaxing the shoulders and tipping the chin back upright. Take a moment there, breathing and relaxing, lengthening through your spine. And switching your legs, bring the other one again to the front or the top. Take a moment there, just feeling your body, getting ready just to release those shoulders a little bit more, bringing your ear over to one side. Keep both shoulders down, away from your ears. Let the head just be heavy, tipping to one side. Again, spine aligned, shoulders above your hips. Ground just slightly reaching out away. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up outside of your head, just adding weight, not pressure, just letting that other side of your shoulder stretch a little further. Take a breath, ear coming down, just letting that whole side through the trapezius, through the neck area, just release any tension out. If you like the stretch and want it a little bit more intense, you can bring your hand you're tipping away from down. Fingertips or palm down, whatever works for you. Or just omit that totally if you need just a little relaxation. Take a breath, exhale, let it deepen as much as it wants. But remember, never force, allow that release, relaxing into it only. And then bringing both hands back to your lap, tip your head back upright, feel the difference on the two sides, just let it relax and tip your head the other way. Again, both shoulders, shoulder blades stay down. That ear just comes over as much as it wants to, completely relaxing through the upper body. Keep that core active and supporting your spine. The side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up for the extra weight, no pressure. Just let the neck get its release, relaxing with the breath. And again, you can stay there, just letting everything relax, both shoulders down, head just tipping, ear dropping toward the shoulder as much as it wants, or bring the other hand down to the floor for a little extra stretch, only if that feels right for you. Breathe into it, just relax. Exhale any tightness, let it go. Deep breaths. Just releasing, exhaling any tightness. And again, bringing your hands back down, tip your head back upright, feel the sides of your neck, maybe a little bit more release. And stretch up through the whole crown, spine, neck, everything open. And then keeping your shoulders where they are, Exhale, turn one, your chin toward one side, just letting a little twist through the neck, move your head over as far as it wants to go. Keep reaching up through the crown, keep those spine bones open as you move. Both shoulders face forward, just the neck twisting. And again, lengthening up, exhale back to the center. And once again, stretch up and switch your legs around just to keep everything balanced and even. Shoulders down, right above your hips, spine stretching open, especially through the neck. And again, exhaling, turn the chin to the opposite side, looking toward that shoulder or a little bit behind you if that works for you. Just letting the neck twist, just gently, only as far as it wants to go. Exhaling any tightness, crown reaching high throughout, shoulders just sagging down, 
relaxing completely. And again, with the crown going up, the whole body stretching open, exhale the chin all the way back to the center. And then starting at the bottom of the spine, begin winding forward around your shoulders, coming forehead down towards your floor in front of you. Just breathing and relaxing as you exhale all the way down. When you get to the bottom, just pause, breath out, exhaling and relaxing. And then tipping your chin back forward, bring your head back up and unwind, coming all the way back to your seated position. Take a breath. And then starting again at the bottom of the spine, just begin winding as you exhale back down. Coming all the way into that forward position as deeply as your exhalation brings you. Pausing at the bottom, breath held out. And when you're ready to inhale, turn your face forward. Again, lengthening through the spine as you bring your shoulders back above your hips. Seat it again. And one more time with that rounding. Starting at the bottom of the spine, exhaling your way down, just focusing inward on those bones as they move, holding the breath out. And when you inhale, face to the front, coming back slowly up, lifting your heart, back shoulders over your hips, stretching up through the crown. Chin back parallel to the floor. Feel your whole body. Exhaling any tightness. And then coming to your knees. We'll come into our child pose. Bringing your hips back on your heels. Hands, palms up at your side. Or head down toward the floor. Tuck your chin in. Just relax completely. And then bringing your face forward, inhaling, sit up on your heels, coming into a kneeling position. Clasp your hands behind you. Press the knuckles toward the floor gently and lift your heart. Feel that heart area open across your shoulders. Lengthen through the spine, out through the crown. Chin just slightly lifted, heart extending up. And then as you exhale, bring your chin slightly toward your chest. As you bring your forehead down toward the floor, lifting your hands up toward the ceiling, coming into your forward position as deeply as you'd like. Forehead toward the floor, hands toward your head. Take a moment there, breathe. And then inhaling, face forward. And bring your hands down toward your feet as you lift your heart once more up toward the ceiling. As you get all the way up, pause in that back bend, lifting your heart open toward the sky. And then chin back toward neutral, releasing your arms back into your kneeling position. Feel your spine a little bit more activated. And then bring your hands once more behind you, clasping them the opposite way, other finger outside. Press the knuckles down, lifting your heart, opening your chest. Feel that head reaching back slightly. And once more, tucking your chin slightly towards your chest as you bring your hands up, lower your forehead again toward the floor. And again, you can bring lifting your hips if you need to, or just keeping them down whichever way that bowing motion works for you. Take a breath as you get your forehead as far toward the floor as it wants, bringing your hands maybe a little further toward your head for that shoulder release. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, any tension. And then when you're ready to inhale again, face to the front, lift your chin to neutral, bring your hands toward your feet, as you lift your heart once more, slightly toward the ceiling, head just a little bit back. Take a breath, relaxing into that heart opening, slight back bend. And then 
inhale upright, releasing your hands, coming back to your kneeling position. As you breathe, just take a moment, noticing your body, noticing your spine. We're gonna work the neck a little bit more. This is supposed to help relieve any stress, tension, headaches at the back of your head or anywhere in your skull. So this one's called rabbit. We're gonna come forward on your fingertips, lift your hips and tuck your toes under behind you. And then sink your hips back towards your heels and take your hands clasping around your heels. Feel that heart open a little bit more. Knees about hip width apart, or maybe a little bit more together, that's okay. Lift your heart, stretch your spine. And as you exhale, we're gonna come up slightly, hold your heels as you bring the crown of your head, the top of your head down toward the floor. So see if you can get it all the way down. If not, you can add a little padding if you need to. And just feel that back of your neck get an extra stretch. Lift the hips as much as you want. Take a breath or two here. And then we're going to crush that whole front of your body a little bit more by moving the knees toward your forehead and rolling further onto your crown of your head or even the back of your head. Chin tucked in. Just keep moving the knees and feet up as you tuck even deeper into that rabbit pose. So take a moment and breathe. Exhale, it's harder as you get those knees closer to your forehead, letting that whole chest area compress a little bit deeper, but feel the back of your body open. Feel the neck stretch even more as you roll onto the back of your head as much as you can. And then flatten your feet, release your hips back, rolling into child pose, forehead to the mat, hands released, shoulders down. Take a moment, just breathing. Exhaling any tightness in your child pose, however feels good for you. And when you're ready, inhale, sit up on your heels, slide off to the side, and bring your feet to the end of the neck. Take a moment there, pressing out through your heels, get that core activated, lengthen up through your spine. Bring your arms straight out to the sides, palms toward the floor, reach out through your fingertips, keep those shoulder, shoulder blades down toward your waist, lift up through the crown. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, we're twisting, Turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder to the side as you bring one hand over your toes and the other one straight back. Toes up toward the ceiling as much as you can, stretching the back of your leg. Let the hip you're moving away from come up a little bit so you can facilitate that twist. Remember, don't plant both hips, both sitting bones. That overworks the lower back. Stretch it out. Exhale, turn back to the center. Arms straight out to the side, shoulders, shoulder blades down. Inhale, crown high. Exhale, turn the opposite direction. And again, whole body turning so that back hip comes up a little bit as you turn away from it. And the front hand goes over your toes as much as possible with the other hand right at shoulder level behind you. Stretch it out, stretch it up. And on an exhalation, again, just slowly turn back to the center. Release those hands, connect to the core, and slowly roll all the way onto your back. Take a moment, getting those shoulders down. Feet about hip width apart. Turn your hands, palms down, bring your thumbs underneath you. Pull your elbows way into your waist. And we'll do a fish, a little back bend before we finally relax. So press into your forearms, hands, and elbows. Bring your upper body up and look at your feet. Feet hip up the partish. Lift your heart. Drop those shoulder blades toward your waist. Drop the top of your head crown down toward the floor. Lifting your chin as much as you want. You can bring your head all the way down if that works or not. 
Always staying on your belt, elbows and forearms if your head doesn't touch. Just lift your heart, let it open. If your head is all the way down and you like it, you can bring your hands to prayer position, heels of the palms on your ribs, fingertips toward the ceiling, into your full fish, or not always do what's right for your body. Just feel that heart open, whatever position you're in. Breathing into it, letting that whole back arch from the sitting bones up to the crown of your head. If you're ready to release, you can bring your hands down if you put them on your chest, back onto your forearms, elbows, and hands, lifting your head, chin in towards your chest, and then just roll your body all the way to the floor. As you get back down onto the mat, turn your hands, palms up away from your sides, shoulders, shoulder blades down. Let those feet relax apart. Take a breath. Exhale, that full upper body sinking deep. Allow everything just to release and relax completely. Deep breaths, releasing any tightness. Letting your body grow heavy. And just sink your body deep into that earth support. I mean, Mother Earth is always there supporting throughout the day, throughout your life. And just relax into that embrace fully and completely. Deep breath in. Exhale, let everything go. Body just sinking deep into that earth support. As you completely relax, let any thoughts in your mind release. Letting go of thoughts of your body, the thoughts of any other troubles, any other worries, any other cares. Just release the past. Allow that future to just drift away. There's no need to think about any content of your thoughts. Just let the thoughts drift inward into that peace within. Find that peace point, filling your body, filling your mind, filling your entire being with peace. If you have time and opportunity to keep relaxing today, take your time. If it's time to return to the moment, with the breath and awareness back to your body, back to the room. Just begin allowing yourself to return gently and normally, breathing more slowly and stretching whenever you're ready to do so. And as you breathe more fully, stretch more completely. Whenever you're finally ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels, your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Into that appreciative yoga hug, tapping your bones however feels right for you today. Just let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And whenever you're ready to release that, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for your day ahead. 
If there's any stress or tension still in your body, you can return to your alternate nostril breathing. Hand in front of your face, pressing into one nostril, exhaling, inhaling, reversing. And just do that as long as you need to get rid of any of that tension still left in your awareness. Just keep exhaling, letting all that stress and tension release wherever you're holding it. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.